गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीबडी एल एम एच आई लीगा मेडिकोरम होम्योपैथिका इंटरनेशनलिस इज द वर्ल्ड्स ओल्डेस्ट एंड द लार्जेस्ट होम्योपैथिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट हैड अ वेरी सिंपल एंड अंबल बिगनिंग एंड अ स्मॉल बिगनिंग इन द पोर्ट सिटी ऑफ रॉटरडैम इन नीदरलैंड्स ऑन 10th ऑफ सितंबर 1925 and you can believe this organization had only 14 founding members from nine countries today lmhi is growing and growing and getting stronger and stronger with more than 70 member countries and, and a large number of members and its activities my first acquaintance with lmhi goes back to 1965 when my father was a delegate to the international lmhi congress in london uh, thereafter i had a uh, insight into lmhi working and its work in 1977 during the new delhi congress when i was a student i was already an associate member of the liga by the time and i still owe that certificate with the signature of the great stalwart pasquero my first entry into lmhi congress was at lyon france in 1985 when i joined it as a full member and presented my scientific paper since then i have been regularly presenting papers and associated with lmhi and its activities i came into board at quito lmhi congress in ecuador and then i got insight into the working of the board which i found to be very friendly and very very cordial everybody was there to help each other coming to my presidency then see every president has contribution and i will say whatever happened in my time was not president's contribution but it was the contribution of each and every member of lmhi and especially the board members who were ex- who are experts in their field and they worked tirelessly homeopathy at the background has a dedication and a spirit and honesty and that you can see in each and every member of lmhi so during my tenure not i did but during my tenure with the help of my officers and the secretariat we we tried to move further and forward the uh, the the benefit the projects left by my predecessor and the most important was the maturation advancements of the working groups the working groups during my presidency started giving results we were able to give an update the scientific document on homeopathy the scientific framework of homeopathy the research group worked on all the research projects that they, they were ongoing there was a lot of work done in clinical verifications and provings we could also uh, give a statement on the pharmacy homeopathy pharmacy and so on things were going and going yes i i was very lucky to have the unique opportunity and honor to preside over the congress in leipzig germany I was very lucky to preside the LMHI International Council meeting and the LMHI Executive Council meeting in Kyoto. Now both of these places are related to Hanuman to his work, education and his practice. And today we have our central office in Kyoto in Germany. So it was great for me. It was also great honor for me to be the first lmhi president to preside over a congress on african soil that was in lmhi congress in cape town south africa my visits were very very fruitful i visited moscow 
and I had good exchanges with the Russian homeopaths. I found that the Rus in Russia homeopathy is very, very dedicated. They work with great dedication and we have so much to know from Russians in homeopathy. My visit gave them an insight into the LMHI activities and I was able to get more membership for LMHI from Russia and neighboring countries. Russia is doing great work in the field of homeopathic research and clinical practice. They have a great history. My second visit to, was to a country, a small country, an area, but very large in homeopathy, and that was Armenia. So I've been a teacher there, and we have exchanges, and that also made more LMHI members in that part of the world. India today boasts to be world leader in homeopathy, be it education, research, pharmacy, practice. It has the largest number of clinicians practicing homeopathy. In India, I visited and I was invited as guest of honor at the annual Congress of Hamai, Homeopathic Medical Association of India, a very, very big organization. Then I was invited as a guest of honor at the annual Congress of Indian Institute of Homeopathic Physicians at Chennai. Now, both these congresses gave me the opportunity that I could give them insight into LMHI. And this made the membership grow in the Indian subcontinent. Friends, this is uh, just what was happening in my time. One of the very important things that was happening during my time of vice presidency and presidency was changing scenario, every day changing scenario of information and communication. The social media was becoming stronger and stronger. And in these directions, we worked a lot. We, had re we were in regular touch with WHO. We were in touch with the um, US FDA. We wrote letters to different governments. And also we helped the countries who had difficulties with homeopathy at the government level. So this, uh, this revolution in information technology and communication gave us an opportunity to spread more and more of scientific homeopathy and to be in touch with different parts of the globe with homeopathy. Uh, I'll be very short in uh, giving to my young homeopaths the advantages of being an LMHI member. Number one, the biggest advantage, as I always say, is when you become an LMHI member, you get an inner satisfaction. There develops a feeling of dedication and work. You have a responsibility. Being a member gives you a responsibility. And second is, now being a member of an LMHI, you feel a part of global homeopathy. You feel a part of biggest organization of the world of qualified homeopathic doctors and associations. This is the biggest platform that connects you globally. So you can connect to your colleague in any part of the globe, just at the click, being a member of LMHI. You can exchange, you can exchange and interchange uh, your ideas and your experiences. Being an LMHI member, you are updated to what is happening in the homeopathic world. You may then join the working groups and contribute. You, when you contribute, you have an inner satisfaction. You, you will know what is the latest happening in research. You get a regular uh, LMHI newsletter. You get a regular journal. And then you get an opportunity to attend the annual LMHI Congress, which is a very, very different experience. You feel proud that, and you feel a satisfying feeling when you contribute to global dissemination of homeopathy, which is the ultimate goal of LMHI.
now little bit a message to young homeopaths from my clinical practice of 40 years dear colleagues time is changing so is the practice changing but we have to stick to the basics the biggest difference between homeopathy and other medicine is we are based and bound by a law a law of nature so our basics have to be in, intact once our base is intact we can do anything the diseases and their nature are changing what a doctor got 50 years ago i don't get it today and from today after 50 years i will not get what i get today the diseases are getting complex more and more they are becoming incurable more and more they are multi-miasmatic they are not simple so you have got to update yourself with the latest clinical updates in medicine and surgery and in pathology well homeopath would say that we don't need pathology and we don't need uh, clinical advancements knowledge i say we need because if we don't have this knowledge we will be lagged behind we will not know the prognosis we will not know where do we stand so we should have a good clinical knowledge you can advance cases of cancer which are incurable which have irreversible pathology so you have you must know the clinical metra medica you must know the clinical medicines you must know the metra medica of the polycrests you can do that through you must know as i always say allen keynotes and borix metra medica for your good clinical practice in the present times you should be able to talk to your colleague in modern medicine on the same terms of pathology as the disease says now having said this i would also advise my young friends who are joining homeopathic family remember homeopathy is not just a medical practice it is a medical practice with dedication with sympathy for the suffering people so you have to serve with love and you have a responsibility and for this responsibility you must know also your limitations you cannot do everything in medicine with any system of just one system of medicine is not enough we have to complement each other we must know where to stop we must know what we cannot do so we must know our limitations we should be clinically strong we should respect the other uh, systems of medicine we should appreciate their um, their advancements and what benefits we can derive from them and we must have a cordial atmosphere this is all what i have to say to my young homeopaths joining and here is a field a vast field of lmhi which will help you in your practice in your knowledge giving updating you for the research and above all making you part of a big global family of homeopathy that is liga medicorum homeopathica internationalis thank you my dear friends